But your issues with tax go back many, many years. I heard some wild ass shit from way back in the day. True or false? Don't. It, I heard about a, a, an altercation outside a liquor store, long time ago when you tried to sell them a CD. That's cat. It wasn't no liquor store. I think you got it fucked up because he tweeted about that. He didn't even tell me about this. I heard this from somebody else in the industry who I really yeah, respect. They, they, playing they told telephone. me that you had an encounter outside the bodega. Tell me what happened in front of that. Let me. You tried to sell him a CD, and then he reacted, and then a couple days later, something happened to him. What? That shit don't... I can't, I can't if, go into greater detail than that. If something happened to people... They ain't got nothing to do with me. Right, I'm sure, yeah. But I've never, I don't remember this. This didn't, I know the only time that he ever said I tried to sell him a CD was in, um, we call him Ratstone, by the way. Huh. Only time he ever, that's a fact, this paperwork. Only time that he ever, um, I tried to sell him a CD was in the McDonald's parking lot. And I think he tweeted about the shit. And then, like, you know, I would be like, if somebody said they ain't had no money, cool, I'll take it. But if they, like, said something slick, I'd be aggressive and make them buy it. So I think you might have tweeted something, and I reply, yeah, then you remember I such and such and made you buy it. Mm. And then that was it. But I don't remember no liquor store and something happening. Like, I was never on feet selling my music. Like, I was always in a in a dope V, and they come to the truck. It was never no bum shit with me. I'm in front of a liquor store, yo, by my, I don't know, this... So when did you trace the conflict between you back to? When did it really start? Was it just when he got a podcast that you got really nah, aware of this? Or before that? I don't know. It's so it's so many it's so many people that you get haters when you into like when you start doing uh entertainment and people can know you and you don't know who they are. Right. That's when the shit starts. So it's so many fucking different people, which is cool cuz it all I'm I'm overly paid for all the shit I got to go through. Right. But I don't never be focusing on like yo this happened and that happened. I don't even remember that because I remember a tweet about it. But you know does it saying? go back to him being around Mano and Uncle Murder who you initially had conflict with? I never had a problem with Mano and Uncle Murder. Oh. I I did I came and did records for Mano. I fuck with Uncle Murder. Uncle Murder me and Uncle Murder go back before music like Street business, his people's is like my man in my house, okay. like that. Like, see, this one should take on a life of his own. This it is why I hate never doing no my problems. own research. I go, yeah, I, go, was, I go and I talk to people, and then they tell me stuff, nah. and I bring it up, and you're just like, I don't know anything about. Yeah, that never had, and I would, I would say it if it's not going to incriminate me. I would. <laughs> right. That nah, that's that's a fucking myth. That never happened. So, I don't know where the initial problems go back to. You would see, like, I don't know. But when you started hearing him. Go in on you on the podcast. I never heard it. You never heard it. But you hear oh, about it, right? I told you. Yeah, I would hear about it, but right. I never heard it. Like I said, I never listen. I'm not a nosy person. Right. I'm always I'm always getting to it. Like, I got a lot of shit going on. You feel me? Just in life. Like, I got a lot of shit going on. I got mad different. I really got mad different businesses. I be doing my own shit. I be in my own world. I don't even listen to a bunch of music because I don't want to start sounding like motherfuckers. You know what I'm saying? Mm. I'm listening to pop or big like oh shit whatever or soul music like shit from the 60s so i'm not a nosy person like yo let me be on top only during the pandemic that i start watching shit mm. yo let me see about this let me see about that like, i don't give a fuck it, yo it's hard to eat when you're looking at somebody else's plate you're gonna keep missing your mouth i don't give a fuck about what people got going on so i've never heard episode none of this shit so at you're, all. you're not curious about what's going on with all this new school new york beef and all this shit uh, I, I, I would just, I would just hope that it would end, but mm. it's the same shit that been going on for years. Right. And then once blood is shed, it ain't no real coming back from that. But now they got YouTubers making videos about it and hey, summing it up for nuts. people who want to watch. That's nuts, and I, and I think everybody that's doing shit, that's running drills or whatever, you should try to stay the fuck off YouTube. Don't mm. if you're gonna do work, do the work and don't look for the cloud about it. You, mm. you know what you did. You know what I'm saying? They saw know what they did. Don't. Go on, don't spin through the blocks, to the ops block and put it on Facebook. That's, unless you try to go to jail. Like, at, at the end of the day, what people don't realize is, like, like we was coming out here and shit. And it's a lot of um, shit is at war, a lot of gang wars and shit going on. That, here? Yeah, that motherfuckers don't like, you know what I mean? It's not, like, coming from New York, when I first started coming to Cali, I was thinking, like, yo, it was like, yo, like, the 80s and movies that we see colors and shit like that. But when I first came out here, I was on Rodeo Drive in Beverly Hills. You feel me? Right. But now as you come out more and you start meeting people, you start finding out the 
town business and politics, however y'all call it or whatever. So I would never like give a fuck or get myself involved in that. And like even from my hood, we had, like I said, I've been through serious shit before any rap, before anything going through serious shit, but that shit ain't known outside of 20 blocks. Right. So a lot of times if we stop being so prideful and so self-centered, you'll realize like this shit that we warn over, it don't even fucking matter to motherfuckers in another state, right. another borough, another zip code. It don't even matter. So you might get a one up or two up on the scoreboard and you felt, yeah, I'm the man, I'm known in my hood. But then when does it end? Because you got to go somewhere else and somebody else going to try you. Right. Then you got to go somewhere else and somebody else going to try you. So it be nonsense. We we worrying over shit and going through shit about nothing. And now it's come to where you ain't getting enough clout for it in your in your neighborhood. Where now you want to put it on YouTube and make songs about it and shit like that. And now... But, but guess who? You're going to get the clout, but you're going to get the clout from the police, too. Mm. All right, guys. So the No Jumper Clips channel right here. Make sure you subscribe. We just blasted past 30,000 subscribers. Our next goal is 50,000 subscribers. Please help us out and hit that red button. Thank you.